in last video we discussed about the refractive index and the refraction of light when light enters from one medium to another medium in this video we are going to solve some questions related to refractive index and i have selected three questions for you you can pause the video and read these questions or you can take note of these questions in your notebook uh, so that you know what is going on uh, when we are solving the questions so let us uh, read the first question and solve it a beam of light enters a glass prism with a refractive index of 1.5 so when i'm reading the question i can highlight the point uh, points which are given to us the refractive index is given to us it's 1.5 so n is equal to 1.5 now if the angle of incidence is 30 degree so angle is also given to us angle i is equal to 30 degree what is the angle of refraction we are asked to find the angle of refraction in last video we discussed about the formula of refractive index which is n is equal to sin i by sin r i is angle of incidence and r is angle of refraction so let us substitute uh, substitute the values and n is 1.5 sin 30 degree divided by sin r which is r if we rearrange then we find a new value something like this sin 30 degree divided by 1.5 is equal to sin r right so if you substitute the value of sin 30 degree you will get 0.5 because sin 30 degree is equal to 0.5 divided by 1.5 which is equal to sin r now since we have to find the value of r i can write it something like this r is equal to sin inverse 0.5 divided by 1.5 if you simplify 0.5 divided by 1.5 you get 1 by 3 and when we take the sin inverse of 1 by 3 we get r is equal to let me calculate we get r is equal to 19.47 degrees so r is equal to approximately we can write 19 degree now the next question is a beam of light enters a liquid with a refractive index of 1.33 so refractive index is given to us which is 1.33 the angle of refraction is given to us 45 degree what is the angle of incidence so this time we need to find angle i which is unknown again let's write the formula i is equal to sin i by sin r so we can write 1.33 is equal to sin i is not given to us so i can write sin i as it is and sin 45 degree let's rearrange the value as we uh, did in the last question so we can write sin i is equal to 1.33 into sin 45 degree so here i can write sin i is equal to 1.33 into sin 45 is equal to 1 by root 2 now if you find the value of sin inverse 
divided by root 2, you will get i is equal to, let me use the calculator, i is equal to 70.12 degree or approximately I can write 70 degree. So the angle of incidence in this case is 70 degree. Let's go to question number three. Question number three is a beam of light travels through a glass prism with a speed of 2 into 10 power 8 meter per second. What is the refractive index of glass? So let me draw a diagram in this situation. So imagine the situation is very much like we have studied in the last video that a ray of light enters from air to glass or air to water. So when it enters from air to glass, it bends towards the normal and this is the normal. This is the angle of incidence. This is angle of refraction, though it's not required here. Now let's see what is given to us in the question. Given to us is the speed of light in glass. It means we have we have V2. If you remember in the last video, we had represented V2, uh, V2 as the speed of light in second medium. So V2 is equal to 2 into 10 power 8 meter second power minus 1. And here we don't have V1 or we have in question we don't have V1. But we can take speed of light in air equivalent to speed of light in vacuum. So speed of light in vacuum is 3 into 10 power 8 meters per second. So I can write here V1 is equal to 3 into 10 power 8 meter per second. Now let us find the refractive index. Refractive index N is equal to, we can write the formula either sine I by sine R, but do we need this formula? No. So what I will do? I'll write V1 by V2. It means speed of light in first medium to the speed of light in second medium. Let's substitute the values. We'll get N is equal to 1, uh, not 1, 3 into 10 power 8 divided by 2 into 10 power 8. 10 power 8, 10 power gets, uh, 8 gets cancelled and we are left with n is equal to 3 by 2 which will give us a value 1.5. So the refractive index of glass prism is give uh, what we are getting here is 1.5. This is the answer. I have given three questions for your practice which are uh, very similar to the last three questions which uh, we have practiced you can uh, take some time to practice these questions so that you know that we uh, you have understood all the three questions which we have solved early keep solving and keep practicing keep revising let's meet in the next video happy learning